Hello, my name is Dr. Darrell Charles and I am the course director for the Game Design and Development degree at McGee. Game development has become a very rapidly growing uh, industry and opportunity for our graduates. Um, particularly in Northern Ireland, there's been a, a strong growth of small to medium sized games companies with um, CEOs continually looking for our graduates to come to work for them. So there's been a great opportunity for us to set up this new degree at McGee and focus in on the core technical skills that are required to make games. One of the largest companies in Northern Ireland is Hypixel. Hypixel are strongly involved with uh, Minecraft servers, but they recently got um, acquired by Riot Studios, one of the big producers in the games industry, um, for several million pounds. And they are now making their own game um, out, of, out of Derry. We are in discussions with them over how we design the course to best um, equip our students to go straight into work for them. The majority of the learning will be based in uh, workshops and within the studio. So it's very hands on, very practical. There will be some lectures and some tutorials where we'll explain some of the more complicated um, concepts and ideas. But by and large, if you are on this degree, you'll be designing, creating graphics, creating audio, writing code, and putting it all together to make games towards your own individual and team portfolio. Hopefully by the end of the degree, you'll have a strong portfolio that will be very persuasive in terms of um, getting you a job or moving on to further study. So we've had a, a large investment on the campus of, in, at, at McGee for game development. We've refurbished a whole building which will be exclusively used for game development. And we have a brand new suite of uh, computers um, suited to development development of games with state-of-the-art technology such as Unreal Engine, um, Unity, Maya, Blender, and many more software tools. The staff um, that are delivering the course have over 20 years of teaching experience in this um, in this area, and are extremely enthusiastic about games and making games. The structure of the course, as you can imagine, things start gradually and they get more and more precise and more in depth as you go through. So in the first year, all of our students will be um, learning to code um, from scratch, regardless of what you've done before. Um, We'll focus uh, more than likely on the, the C sharp language, which is a good start language for, for most people. You'll learn um, coding principles and scripting ideas for use in game engines and game libraries. You will learn about graphics, um, how to, to rig those graphics and to animate them, both for 2D and 3D um, characters, how to make and construct game levels using graphics and create basic characters in this first year um, that can interact with, with the player character. We'll look at um, game design theory, discuss uh, um, gameplay mechanics um, in depth, um, how to consider the best gameplay mechanic for particular types of game genre. Uh, we'll look at storytelling, where it's, it's uh, useful in games and where it's perhaps um, not so helpful to the interactive uh, gameplay. You will get a start on the core development tools and also um, we'll be encouraging you from the start to build up your project management and, and communication skills. We will encourage you know, our students to work on projects that are team based. You will do some individual work but the bigger projects will be um, team based, especially in the first two years. So in the second year, we we build on your knowledge that you've gained in um, coding 
behaviors and games, looking at other types of uh, game programming languages like C++, um, doing some more work on level design, considering artificial intelligence and physics, uh, working out the theoretical background for those, and the practice of how to put them into games using different types of tools, and also within the same game engines that we are looking at throughout um, the course. And that's particularly Unity and Unreal, but also perhaps Godot and other types of libraries um, like Raylib, for example. We'll have a focus also on um, game optimization. So how do we test our games? How do we test if the frame rate is good enough? How do we fix it if the game rate isn't good enough? Um, looking at game profilers and other types of um, commercial tools that help us uh, to do this and to learn how to, to, to make our games better, more effective in terms of the, the right quality of graphics, the right number of vertices for the genre that you're working on, um, how to optimize the use of textures and also um, appropriate coding techniques that don't no affect your gameplay and run down your frame rate. Ideally, everyone will get a, a, a paid placement with a games or VR company. Um, there may be an opportunity for, if that's not possible, to, to work for a, a mainstream computing company just to get that additional programming experience. But either way, um, it's it's a good, a good idea to get a, a placement year to fit in a full year of concentrated development experience. There is a small possibility that um, a group of students could spin out a like a trial or pilot um, games company, but that's normally a bit more difficult to to get into for various reasons. Um, for one thing, uh, most of the the normal placement is paid, whereas a spin out trial wouldn't be paid, and it's a bit more difficult. To achieve. But it is possible, it has been done before. In the final year, um, you engage in a major project will be the, which will be the most of your work in the final year, a really big focus in the final year to make a, a sizable complete game that's capable of going on to one of the, the gaming platforms um, where you may be able to sell it. So big focus then on actual production and studio development practice, um, testing quality assurance, really high quality, important commercial skills and practice. So we also do look at the commercial and the business aspects of, of, of the games industry. We'll talk through what the process would be if you wanted to start up your own business, for example, build a startup company, or perhaps you know, you want to go into a small company and, and engage with them in multiple roles. So we, we will talk about you know, how to create a business model, um, about the different types of roles within, within the games industry and what might suit you best um, in future employment. So the Derry um, slash London Derry campus is actually a very peaceful and, 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 and nice campus. I enjoy the, the tranquility of the campus. Uh, the people are very friendly. Um, and also the city itself is renowned for the creative industries and the arts. There's a lot of focus within Derry on on, on that, that industry. And now with Hypixel being in the city, um, the city has the, the largest games company within, within Northern Ireland and one of the biggest within Ireland, actually. So we have, a as I mentioned earlier, we have a new building. This will be refurbished um, for our students. Um, really good opportunity to go into a, a new, a new building with brand new equipment and an exciting new course. There obviously are interesting cultural events that go on in Derry. Probably, um, if you're listening to this, you might know this better than I do. Um, you have the the Halloween festival, which is a, a very, very big event these days. And there are other various festivals throughout the year, which are really quite exciting. 
quite quite fun. It's a small, it's a smaller city than than some other cities throughout the UK, which means it's it's very accessible um, and very easy to to get around. So Ulster and particularly our faculty have have got really um, high quality equipment. Um, for example, I'll show you on the next slide that we are setting up a, a new digital production studio in the harbour in Belfast, which has um, been funded up to 80 million pounds. And this will be a, part of what that will be um, used for is to use the Unreal game engine to create backdrops for um, for movies and um, TV series. We also have a very um, high quality, high powered um, cloud compute resource that's shared between Ulster and um, Queen's University. So if you're interested in artificial intelligence and games, procedural generation, um, some of the new AI um, processes that are now available, this is a, a, eventually, this might be one of the um, tool sets that you would want to access. So Studio Ulster is this is a new a facility that has been led by Ulster and and currently being being constructed. Uh, you can see in the top right hand corner one of the productions that used a similar process. So with this curved LCD screen and sensors at the top of the LCD screen to detect cameras and characters within um, the studio area. So the idea with this is you can, on the LCD screen, you show essentially the a game, so not even a game world really, a, a simulation of a real world that can be used in a, in a, in a TV or a movie. So it saves a lot on um, production in terms of visiting sites, worrying about weather, etc. You have completely con complete control over the the environment. How light it is, is dark and is at night. And the scene you see here is actually the Mandalorian, which was which used this type of production um, massively. So Disney have invested massively within the, this technology. And in at, in Northern Ireland, we will now be able to um, attract companies that can can produce movies that are similar to this. <clears throat> on the Derry campus, we're getting a satellite version of this. So for smaller production, um, that's also very exciting. So after after you finish your degree, um, there are lots of opportunities. Obviously, within Northern Ireland, there the vastly increased opportunities within the, the entertainment sector, including game development but also the exciting new opportunities within the game, the movie, movie industry as well, um, the TV and movie industry. So, but apart from that, um, you could move to Scotland. Scotland's got a thriving games industry, South of Ireland similarly, and England is actually one of the biggest um, developers of games worldwide. So we, there are lots and lots of opportunities for graduates coming coming out of our course. However, you know you might want to go on and do um, some further study. So there are master's opportunities and PhD programs that our students can avail of, and that may well get get you further up the 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 ladder of opportunity um, to either go into um, a more specific role within industry in games um, or movie making, uh, or you know perhaps it'll take you into acad academia and more academic work and research. So this, this is a list of some of the jobs that are available um, for folks coming off our degree. Uh, some of them would be a, very much immediate. So a community manager and a tester may be something that you could do coming straight out of, um, of your degree and then work your way up into other roles. Um, a programmer, um, artist and sound designer, if you have built up really good skills and good portfolio, you could also go straight in um, to a company in a, in, a, in a junior role and again, work your way up. 
designers are typically within kind of larger companies. Um, designers typically, the, the jobs are not available straight out of college. So you would tend to have to do, you know, three to five years experience within the games industry before you get the role of a designer, unless you're extremely good. Uh, writers as well, not necessarily focused on what, um, the, and on graduates from our program, but um, yeah, writing and producing has become increasingly important um, within the games industry. So uh, you'll find the entry requirements if you're interested to, to, to work on that. And also if you have any, informa any information you would like to um, find out about the, the course or further information, you can email admissions and they will they will route those queries directly to me. So I'll be able to respond to you on any of these, um, any questions that you have. Um, further information also on the website. And a couple of other um, emails. So whether well, that's sorry, this is a website, yeah, and also an, an email, a more generic email if you want to more general information about campuses and student life, etc. Perhaps information about grants and um, funding and things. But obviously, you're you're very welcome to to go and, and browse our courses on UCAS. And if you are excited about um, this new games degree, um, I would really invite you to go and apply. So thank you for your intention.